when you, when you walked in, I mean, it was a school, but you didn't feel a connection. You, I don't believe you saw the, the type of interaction with the number of people and kids that you do today. In a high school this size, what it, you tend to do is be very departmental. And when there's not a lot of dialogue that goes back and forth between and amongst departments, I think you have a tendency to think um, that you're working harder than everybody else and that you got more problems than everybody else. Departments were very um, unified, almost to where they wouldn't let anybody else in. A lot of competition, um, a sense of superiority. But they beat up on, them, on each other also a little bit, like, I can't believe that social studies is losing another class, or they're, they're losing, I'm losing a classroom to them, and they can't have this wing. I don't think there was a real trusting relationship with administrators for the teachers. And the teachers were kind of isolated, which is pretty typical of a lot of high schools. It's very easy to isolate yourself. I spent a number of years not knowing the names of most of the, the people at school. Not very much communication between departments themselves, between administration and departments. I took all hundred of them and I stuck them in the library where, as you can tell today, it was about a hundred degrees. And I also strategically placed them at tables because some people would never ever sit with other people. In fact, I. I, you'd have thought they hated each other. I don't know if they did or they didn't, but... And we went through some different activities where the staff, you'd have thought it was a brand new school because they were getting to know each other activities for our staff. And I'd been here two years and we'd never done any of that. And it was, it was amazing to watch. You know, we went through this thing where we moving your cheese, you know, just the fact that we needed to change. And at first people were very, not everybody, but some people were very resistant because they've always done things this way. It seemed to be working well for them individually. So why change? And she showed us a movie about mice and moving cheese. And I can confess, I thought it was very cute. And it did hit home. I was going to be one of the mice that was gonna be starving because my cheese wasn't there where I expected it to be. Basic law of physics, change takes energy. And um, some people have more energy than others. A clear desire for higher, high standards. Just status quo was not gonna work. There's a good rapport that developed, but it did take a while. And it took um, a, a lot of effort on everybody's part. It took stepping out of your comfort zone and extending yourself. Over the years, the students have seemed to mesh better with one another. The guards have gone down, the violence level has gone down. It's, it's been tremendous. The change in the student culture, it's just, it's far beyond what we even expected to happen. I think I look at where we've gone and come from, it's been, a, it's an amazing shift. There are some amazing teachers here. There's a lot more camaraderie amongst the teachers. They're not so isolated. Uh, people are more, just even in general, more friendly. I'm more welcomed. I feel like, like I can walk into anybody's classroom and have a conversation mm -hmm. with them now because I have gotten to know them all much better through this and through having to, to be forced maybe into these different groups. You take them where they're at and, and that's what we do here at Eisenhower. We take people where they're at and we grow them from there and we validate where people are at and, and understand that and so that creates an environment that people are willing to take a risk and move forward. And so one, one stone just builds upon another.